So guys, I wanted to talk about the uh, Ford Focus ST, the track pack car, a car which I'm actually driving later on in April, so please stay tuned to that video. But I've been having a little check on Auto Trader just to see, and you can see on the image here, this red car, which really kind of st stood out for me a little bit. And I just wanted to kind of discuss about the car. Um, I mean, this one's up for <laughs> 42,103. It says save one pound, which is interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's probably the last car that you'd probably get as close to an rs obviously i well i own a mark 3 rs as well i'm looking forward to doing a little bit of a comparison with um, the subscriber the owner when i get the chance and also comparing it to a normal non-track pack car now just to explain what the track pack kind of gives you as you can kind of see on screen you get the you get the black wheels slightly li lighter weight you get a slightly larger discs size now the discs on the normal uh, Mark 4.5 Focus ST are really good, so it's only going to be better, a bigger surface contact, so it's, it's going to be stronger. Um, I think they're Brembo's on these ones, which, yeah, Ford, Ford seems to like it, working with them, and, and they do a good job. You get gloss black bits, more round, gloss black mirrors, gloss, gloss black roof, gloss black spoiler. Um, I really do like it in the red colour, actually. I'd be interested to know your thoughts on that. And yeah, the wheels look quite cool with the ST badge in the side. Similar, like my RS edition has an RS in sort of like that centre cap. I quite like it. It just adds a little bit more. Also believe it comes with Pirelli P0 Corsa tyres, which are a lot more track orientated. Um, obviously not like a full slick, like a Cup 2, but still pretty good, pretty serious. And that's going to make a huge difference in terms of the dynamic sort of ability of it. And I'm looking forward to actually trying one out. I, I quite like it in red because it kind of blends in with the red badge and the red calipers on this particular car. But you can get it in many others, sort of like the, the green looks quite good. Obviously the, the standard colors, sort of black, white, and, and you can get them all. But what else do you get for your track pack? Now, the track pack, I believe, costs about £3,000, but you're getting quite a lot for it. Um, you know, talked about those lightweight wheels, the bigger brakes, the gloss black kind of parts. You get a slightly shorter gear sh ratio shift, so it's like a tiny little bit of a short shifter, maybe. That's what I've heard from people, um, so that's that's quite interesting. The big thing is going to be the suspension. Um, I believe it's from KW, so it's adjust manually adjustable coilovers. So you lose the sort of like auto adjustable so on a normal focus st you can actually go from soft to comfort just from a touch of the button on this one it looks like you have to get the car on a ramp and you have to sort of twiggle it around with a bit of a, a spanner which I, again i'm looking forward to kind of sort of checking out so you could go full stiff if you wanted this as a fun car or you could go full comfort or you could go somewhere in between or you could look up online to see what is the best setting and we're in the uk so maybe not quite as firm but still it's, it's nice to have a bit of an engaging car particularly as the summer months are kind of coming on now that suspension is done by a company i believe called kw and it's yeah it, i mean it's an expensive piece of kit so actually i think for like three grand i think it's actually quite good all this stuff you're kind of getting in as one and you know they're sort of running out with like the focus now and it, which is obviously sad um other than that, it's standard Focus ST, as far as I can tell. There's nothing really else to it. it it's sort of like a bolt-on kind of track pack. But think of it like um, what the ST Edition was like. And that's pretty much exactly what you're getting. Um, but now it's not called an Edition, it's called a track pack, and it's not limited in numbers. Um, if I was getting one today, I would look at getting the track pack personally. Yeah, and even inside the engine bay it looks quite good with the red bits and the red sort of battery cover actually which which is cool um from my sort of experience of driving these cars i would say it needs a little bit more power i drove a car which had a mount tune m330 um like little plug and play kind of tune with a different air filter giving it 330 horsepower i think that's perfect for it if i'm honest works well with the manual gearbox um it means you know the normal cars i just you know and i'll get to experience it again which i have driven it stock as well they just run out of puff after the last sort of yeah last sort of three thousand rpm it's quite big as it's, it's sort of like it's got loads of torque low down and then you're sort of revving it and you're not gaining any more power whereas the free m m330 kit just gives you that extra yeah 50 horsepower really from the 280 which does make a big difference and i really enjoyed the car and um yeah, I think it's good. It's going to be really interesting to see what this track pack's like in person. But I wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown just before I kind of get the opportunity to sort of test it out and drive it. And just to hear your thoughts. And if there's anything you guys want to know as well before my drive, let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'll be more than happy to kind of help you out and um, yeah, and try to answer those questions as I, as I drive it. But yeah, subscribe for plenty more content to come.